We're gonna be helping an old friend set up a reef tank in his dorm room. Thank you so much, honestly. Like this is like a dream come true. Yo, what's good? Today, we are back at college. I was really hoping I wouldn't be back so soon, but I am because today, we're gonna be helping an old friend set up a reef tank in his dorm room. What's good, Nick? Are you ready for this? Yeah, I Thank got you. you. Like, all right, what, what do you think? Oh, that's beautiful. We gotta move. We're gonna. This yeah. is gonna be the quickest reef tank install I've ever done. This is like a dream come true. All right, we got, that's your rock. That's your sand. All right. Thank you so much. Honestly, <laughs> this is the best day of my college life. <laughs> it's the best day. Nick. Introduce yourself. What's the backstory? I've been reef keeping since high school. So I brought my fish all the way from New York City on the airplane. I asked George if it would be possible and he said yes, so I believed him. I went through security questions. TSA was like, I don't know, we're gonna have to test the water. And now we're here and George made this happen. And now we're gonna have a reef tank for my sophomore year and we're gonna keep this here till I graduate. So today we are going to be setting up the ultimate college nano reef. So we got a 20 gallon tank. The first step is we got this yoga mat. Believe it or not, they make yoga mats for fish tanks. The purpose of this is to go underneath the tank. I highly recommend these all-in-one tanks for college reefers, for newbies, for beginners, because the filtration is already built into the tank. So the way these tanks work is that the water gets filtered by going in through this compartment, and then you need a pump to shoot it out back through this hole. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. Oh God, Bump. college educated. You're so smart. The next step is you wanna get the rest of your filtration set up. All right, so the first chamber, you're gonna throw this filter sock in. This is just gonna collect like any dust. In the next chamber, we're putting our sponges. Bacteria can colonize in these, but these are more for just cleaning out the, the big stuff like algae, detritus. Next chamber, you should put some media. This is a marine pure block. It's a place for all the beneficial bacteria to colonize. Oh, that's a lot of both. It's a lot of dust, but that's what the carbon is Carbon is for. Carbon, it takes out chemicals and other biological negatives. Clears your water. But we do need to rinse that, so I would throw that in there. We're gonna use a decent amount of it in the beginning because the water is gonna be a little cloudy when you first set up a tank. Just an update here, we got that filter sock in the first chamber. We got the sponges and the marine pure block in the second one. And then we're also gonna throw some carbon into- On top of which one. Yeah, you can just throw it anywhere in there. Perfect. That'll do. That'll do, Donkey. We got our return pump in the final filter. Your filter's pretty much all ready to go. So this is our heater. You're just gonna throw this, skin a little thing right in the back there. We'll plug everything in at the end, of course. All right, now that you got the filtration out of the way, we can get to the fun stuff. That's right. We got live sand. This is like Fiji pink. I brought you a bunch of dry rock. Now it looks like live rock because it's been colored. I prefer colored dry rock because you still get that really beautiful like purple color, but you don't get any hitchhikers. You don't get any pests that sometimes come on live rock. I'm just gonna sit back and let you uh, skate. That looks like a chicken foot. <laughs> like. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Now that's an aquascape. So now that we have the scape of the tank laid out, we can go ahead and put a few of the other remaining accessories that are gonna like be hanging in and around the tank. So the first thing is the light. So the Prime HD is a couple hundred bucks. It is a very nice light and it will grow pretty much any type yeah. of coral you want. I'd say it's like the cheapest of the high-end lights. Yeah. The next thing we're gonna add is your wave maker. In a 20 gallon tank, you probably need a pump in there. This return pump might not be enough. So now the tank is ready to be filled with water. My mans, I brought you 20 gallons of salt water mixed with Fritz salt. What kind of buckets are these? <laughs> oh yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah. These that's why I brought extra, that's yeah. why I brought extra. We got water all over your floor. Don't don't worry, it's okay. I did a lot worse. I like flooded this hallway. Really? A couple times. R-O-D-I? Oh yeah. I'm gonna show you guys a little trick on how you should be pouring water into your aquarium. Now, most of the time when you put water into the tank, it gets cloudy. Yeah. So, you're gonna use a plastic bag and we're gonna pour it right onto this bag and that's gonna prevent the tank from clouding up. All right, bucket number two. This water smells really good. Is it the Fritz? 
You know why it smells like that? This is a synthetic salt. It mixes quicker, it's cleaner, and so it doesn't leave residue in your buckets yeah. or your big mixing containers. But you gotta call now. Secure the bag, slack the bag, do whatever you want to it, but use it when you're filling up your tank. Okay, the water, as you see, is gonna now head into the bag. Now that the tank's full of water, you can turn on all the filtration, get it going. Let's go. All right, so we're almost there. Essentially, the tank is set up. To get the cycle going, we do, of course, need to add Turbo Start. To start the nitrogen cycle of the tank, we're gonna be using Turbo Start by Fritz Aquatics. This is basically bottled bacteria. Oh, oh yeah, dude. Oh, it smells mm. like dude. boiled eggs. Yummy. That's how you know it's good, though. The best bacteria smells the funkiest. Yeah. I also brought you these two things. So this is Fritz Guard. This is Fritz Aquatics water conditioner. Basically, you can dechlorinate mm. tap water using this. This is Fritz Clarifier, which we're gonna use a little bit of now. This just helps like decloud the tank. We want the tank to look nice and pretty for the end of this video. All that bacteria that we just put in needs a source of ammonia to feed on to start the cycle. Typically, we would use bottled ammonia, but I actually have a surprise for you. So, I got you some stuff for your tank. We got some zoanthid. Can you this is one of my first corals, actually. It's about there. to be your first coral again. I got you some easy, good beginner corals. Is this a rose bubble tip anemone? Bro, it's just, that's not just a rose bubble tip anemone. That is a black widow anemone. That is like the fire of the Are fire right now. Yeah, that's This is my first anemone. I don't care about the other stuff. I have an anemone. I know you had your clownfish. Uh, so uh, we don't care about we, them. We, I anymore. wanted to give your clownfish a nice home, deck out the tank. So that means it's time for acclimation. 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 All right, so Nick is now putting his corals and fish into the tank. Dude, it looks sweet, man. You got the toadstool. Oh, dude, the yellow clown goby is resting on it's the toadstool. Crazy. It looks like it was meant for him. The Bam Bams are opening up. The Black Widow anemone. Black Widow. He's starting to puff up a little yeah. bit. I really like the scape too, cause like you got the bottom section, you got a middle tier, and then you got everything for the top. It's really and well. We did this in under an hour, and it's, it goes to show you that you can really set this up. Anyone can do it. That's what I'm talking about, man. Yes, we all have a little bit of experience, but it's really not that hard, guys. All it is is make sure you get all of your different products and your tank ready to get set up. And if you prepare properly, the actual setup should just be a lot of fun. And now the second part part of fun is just watching it. It looks good, yeah. like for setting this up in about an hour, it's not bad. Now I could just chill in my room and look at my tank or have my TV here when I finally get it and watch my TV and see my tank in the side and like, it just brings genuine joy having a reef tank and seeing all the colors and everything. Hopefully this will help you, you know, have something to come back to, relax and enjoy in your uh, in your free time. Thank you. My man. Thank you. <laughs> I got you. In a few days, Nick is going to send us an update yes. and this is what it's gonna look like. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Nick back with the day five update on the tank. Since then, everything has been doing great. You can see our black widow anemone has moved from the front of the tank to the side. We have our zoanthids right here, our candy cane in the back. There's our clownfish, and then we have our little clown goby. We have our little frag of GSP, our Kenya tree, and then our leather coral. Everything has been doing great. Coloration is improving day by day. Corals are expanding. This tank has been amazing. It's very beautiful. And I hope to see you guys at Aquashell of Chicago on the 28th. See you guys there. All right, guys, I'm really excited for Nick. He's a super nice kid. I met him a year ago when I was a senior, he was a freshman, and he told me he always wanted a tank. So I'm really happy that we were able to get him that tank. Makes me really excited that I get to inspire the next generation of reefers at college. My 12G Nation comment of the day is Jonas Sidiris. 
Uh, love the message you're sending. Love your kinetic editing, wacky friends, and choice of music. Keep the nitrates down and the creativity up. I love that, Jonas. Thank you so much for being a part of the 12G Nation. All right, guys, now I really do have to get out of here because I did my time. I did my four years. I'll see you guys in the next one. Remember to keep those nitrates low. George, out.